everybody. I wanted to do a bit of a shout out today for a product that I had purchased. Uh, this is an unsolicited video. Um, the uh, manufacturer doesn't know that I'm making this video. I'm probably going to give them a heads up on Facebook, but I just thought I'd give them a shout out. Um, and But before I do that, I do want to just mention that if you're watching this video at the time that it is published, that we will be having another Musty Wargamer show this Thursday here at Heresy Productions at uh, 8 Mountain, 9 Central, usual time. Um, on this particular episode, we are going to have a special guest, and that's going to be Dwayne from Plastic Crack Gaming. And I will actually just put a, a link to his... Um, YouTube channel in the description just to give him a bit of a shout as well. And topics this week will be um, recasting, good or bad, and is there ever a time it's acceptable. And the next the next one's going to be um, about your top five favorite fantasy games, so rule sets. And so that um, will be this Thursday. So what, what I wanted to shout out today is Old School Miniatures, and I'll put a link in the description below of their website. They do a lot of different kinds of old school, new miniatures that are like old, old school looking. Um, if you look at their website, they have just lots of different categories. I'll let you look at that, um, but the thing that I actually was really interested in getting from them are their old school shields that they make. There's a lot of different variety, like traditional looking shields of different shapes and kinds. But then there's also ones that look really old hammerish that fit really well into the fantasy genre. And um, even gave a sample of one that is uh, one of the old sort of sculpted face shields that I'll show too that he threw in as a freebie. But what I have in front of you here is just to show some old school miniatures. Um, I have just a variety, like I've shown before, but just to show the shield on them and how they fit, of different different um, versions of Beastmen, as well as a little Ungor. And um, just to show here what I'd gotten, I had ended up purchasing an actual bag of 50 of the standard round shields. When you look at these, um, got an example here. They look really similar to the ones that you would have, like with your sort of um, rivets on the side and the ability to slip onto the piece that accepts the shield on the miniature. And um, what also, as I mentioned, I got these really cool variety of they, I think they call them large shields, and they give you a variety of them, and so these are just all really nice. I mean, some of them are quite large, they're all different shapes, um, and some of them also uh, are like this, which I like, the variety, they're a bit, not, a bit smaller too. So these would look familiar, I mean, these are very similar to like the old school style plastic ones that you got in Realm of Chaos days. Um, the nice thing though, and I'll talk about this in a little bit, is that those are not made anymore and, and, and to get them you have to really spend quite a bit of money. I mean, I'll show an example. I mean, I have I have some of the old plastic ones. I just don't have, an, I never have enough for like what I want to do. And like, it would be like these. And something like this can cost, you know, on eBay, anywhere is from 10 to $15 plus shipping. And, and it really, that can add up if you're looking at getting 20 shields. And, and most of the time these days, they're, they're, they sell them as single screws like this. And I just can't really justify that, to be quite honest. I, that's just sort of, I like collecting, but that gets a little crazy, in my opinion. And so this is a really great alternative. And I like the fact that they're metal. I don't mind doing a little scraping, like if there's a mold line or something on the sides or, or whatever. That's part of the game, you know, when you're doing collecting old metal models. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really quite excited about these. And so uh, one of the ones that I didn't order, but he gave me, I'll show here. 
he gave me as a freebie. I know he's got a, a large number of options on these too. And this is really beautiful, really cool. I'll have to find a special miniature to put that on. I like to paint my shields and that's the reason why I'm doing this. You know, as I, I'm trying to paint these all like old school shields for the most part. Some of those round shields, because I got like 50 of them, I could use on Vikings and I might do them like a Viking shield too. But, but for my fantasy ones, you know, um, that's where these primarily were purposed for. And so I'll just show just real quick. I'm not going to make this video too long, but um, I think you guys will get the idea pretty fast. If you look here, this just slips on. It looks pretty good. Very similar to this guy right there. This one's the style of, of the piece that comes off is a, a little bit tighter, but it still actually fits this really well. Show an example. I'm not sure that I would use the bigger shields on the Ungors, to be honest, um, but I guess I got a little one here, a little one of the big shields. But that one might be a problem because this these are actually kind of a bit a bit bigger. Uh, but you can see this one fits perfect, even though the shield's too big for him. That hole I might need to just put a file through. I think is what I need to do. But they're all basically the same style hole. Um, here's a example of another guy here. Let's put this guy on. It's really nice. I think it'll look really good with like a painted face on it, which is what I like to do. Here's an older Beastman, a little bit older. These ones fit. I'll have to use glue in this style. It actually fits on pretty well, but it, it is, um, fits on great. And then lastly, I have the ones that are sort of like uh, the ones I've painted up already. Um, this guy here. Fits on really well as well as the larger shield. Yeah, so really nice variety. Um, it really creates a nice surface to paint on if you're wanting one of the bigger ones. Um, on your model. This one I think I just need to, they fit. It just actually, in this case, is a little big, the, the shield hole, I just have to glue it. Yeah, you know, they do sometimes always occasionally require a little green stuff or something. Um, but, and these have to be opened a little bit. Actually, that's just, again, just, it's just slightly big, but it just needs a little bit of crazy glue or green stuff, whatever, just to put them on. But very nice, like, I'm really impressed with them. I'm really happy that I got them. And I think they'll fit all the stuff I want to do for... Chaos and beyond, like for the, the round ones, I think these are suitable for a lot of things. So I thought I'd give them a bit of a shout out. I think it's a really cool offering. Um, definitely better than having to buy these at those prices. And then in a lot of ways, that website has a lot more variety um, as well that you can get. And I, I likely would get more in the future. And I might even pick some of these up someday because these are really nice. All right, hope you guys are having a good beginning of the week and talk to you later.